Now, different approaches to teach clinical skills and procedures, uh, the, the theoretical uh, background, uh, these are uh, different studies, different papers, which tell us on uh, the reputation and practice realization and, and blended learning. Uh, there are uh, different models, which uh, I will share with you here. One is called patents skill teaching model. There are four steps. The first step is demonstration. Demonstration of a skill by a teacher at normal speed without commentary, without saying anything, just demonstrate the procedure. That's the first step. The second step is discussion, means you, the teacher demonstrates again, but this time with explanation and discussing with the students. So first is demonstration, just showing the, the procedure. Second is now, and that is uh, with, with uh, normal speed without any comments. Now, second is that you go slow. Now you demonstrate step by step, providing explanation and discussing with the students and answering their questions. Third, comprehension. Demonstration of a skill by teacher with instruction and explanation provided by students. Now still the lecturer is performing that procedure, but now students are telling the lecturer uh, how to do it step by step. And fourth is the execution, that demonstration of skill by student with commentary and instructions from other students. So this is one model, the patents model, having four steps. Uh, the, the, I'll show you two more uh, models, but they are based on this. So steps are demonstration, then demonstration with uh, explanation and discussion then comprehension by students that they tell the teacher how to do that procedure and force the students do it themselves while the teacher is looking and giving the feedback. Uh, we can also use the Cole's uh, experimental learning cycle, which is based on the experience reflection that students have uh, see a procedure, they reflect on that, they think about it, and then they do the active uh, uh, experiments. And we can actually combine these two, the patents uh, four step along with uh, the called uh, uh, experimental uh, or experiential learning. Demonstration is uh, reflective observation, uh, deconstruction or uh, abstract uh, conceptualization, where teacher shows how and learner knows how, and then is comprehension, which is active experimentation with the learner describes how and teacher performs. That was the third step and fourth step performance where students uh, show how they do it. So this is one model. And another model, which is again based on the same, but has uh, described five steps. The step one is where the teacher motivates the learner. So first talk to them uh, about the procedure and the learner must understand why the skill is needed and how it is used in the delivery of the care. So it means that before demonstration, we prepare the students, that's the step one. Step two is demonstrate the skill as in, in patents. And the preceptor should demonstrate the skill exactly as it should be done without talking through the procedure, right? That's the step two. And this silent demonstration gives students a mental picture of what the skill looks like when it is being done correctly. So basically the students develop a mental picture. And when they are performing themselves, they will compare whether whatever they are doing does it uh, simulates or uh, is it similar to what the lecturer had done? Step three is uh, repeats the demonstration with explanation as we saw in patents. And the preceptor repeats the procedure but takes time to describe in detail each step in the process. 
And this will help students see how each step fits into the optimal sequence. And this gives them students uh, an opportunity to ask questions and seek clarification. So before they perform themselves, uh, they are, uh, are sure what they are going to do. The step four is student talk through the skill and by asking students to describe step by step how to do the skill, the lecturer will ensure that students understand and remember each step. Right, and the 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 and the final step is that students perform the skill uh, themselves, and now students are ready to do their first attempt at the skill with the preceptor carefully observing and providing feedback or coaching as needed. Uh, so, following a successful attempt, students should continue to practice until they reach the desired level of proficiency. So basically, it's uh, uh, the basis is same uh, what Peyton said, but this gives a little bit more uh, explanation. The next model, uh, which is the sixth step, again based on 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 the same uh, principle, but just adds another step. First, the tutor assesses learning learners' needs and their skill level means that. The lecturers need to find out how much students already know and what is their uh, level of skill before showing them the, the, the procedure. Tutor demonstrates the procedure. Tutor repeats the procedure and explains what is done. Students instruct the tutor while he or she repeats the procedure and students demonstrate the procedure and explain what they do. And after observing step four, uh, students in step four, the teacher gives a uh, feedback. So this is uh, the, uh, the scheme, which I think is very useful. And if we start practicing it, uh, uh, this would be really, really helpful to train our students uh, in different uh, procedures, maybe simple and complex. And because they have would have this opportunity to repeat uh, this procedure as many times as they want in a clinical skill lab uh, in a, a very secure environment. So uh, this would help them to, to really be, be confident in that particular procedures. 